Hey, this is Anna from Schoolbox. In this video, you're going to learn how to use the tiles component. So let's get started. You'll first need to add the tiles component. Once you've added the tiles component, click Add Tile. Add the text that's going to appear on your tile. Set the colour of the text. If you'd like a background colour to appear behind your text, you can set this in the background colour. There is a slider underneath the colour where you can adjust the transparency. It looks really great when creating tiles to have a transparent colour behind the text of your tile. This works especially well if your tile has a photo behind it. Then choose where the text is going to sit on your tile. The next step is to choose a link that the tile will take you to when you click it. You can insert a URL for an external site, or you can choose Browse Resources and locate a page within your Schoolbox instance. Then click Use this folder. Will it open in the same tab or window, or will it open in a new tab or window? The last thing you need to do to your tile is to set the background. There are a few options you can choose here. You can use colour to set a background colour, or you can drag and drop an image into the image field to have your background be an image. If you are using an image, you have two options. You can either have the image take up your whole background, this is done in the stretch to cover entire tile, or you can resize the image to fit within the tile. This means, for example, that you could have your image at the top of the tile and then have some text underneath it. If you choose this option, you then have the opportunity to choose where the image will sit in the tile. You can then set a hover colour. A hover colour is the colour the tile changes to when you move your mouse over it. The hover acts as a sign that you can click the tile and it will take you there. It's always really good to set a semi-transparent hover colour. So you just select your colour and then use the transparency slider below to adjust the transparency. When you're happy with how your tile looks, just click Save. You'll then need to choose the layout for your tiles. It's important to note here that all tiles that you create in a component must be the same size. If you're wanting to have multiple tiles of multiple different sizes, you will just use different tiles components for each of the different shapes and sizes. So for example, you might have one long tile banner along the top of your page, and then some smaller tiles underneath it. This would be done using two tiles components. When you're setting the layout of your tiles, you have two options, grid or columns. Grid allows you to set the size of the tile. No matter what device or size screen that you're viewing the tile on, it will always be the same size. So if you create 10 tiles that are 200 pixels, if you're viewing the tiles on a large screen, you will probably be able to see all 10 tiles across the top row. However, if you're viewing the tiles on a smaller screen, you might see five on the top row and five on the bottom, or even one tile underneath each other on a really small screen. The columns option is different in that you can set how many tiles appear across each row. For example, you might want to have three tiles across the row, no matter what the screen size you're looking at the tiles on. So if you're viewing the tiles on a really big screen, you will have three quite large tiles across the top of the page. The tiles will then shrink according to the size of the screen. In both options of grid and columns, you're able to set the percentage of padding. This is how you add white space 
between your tiles. A good percentage is about 5 or 10 percent. This will allow a nice white spacing between your tiles. Your last step is to set the shape of your tile. You can choose from the preset shapes of landscape, portrait, square and panorama or you can set a custom size. You can continue to add more tiles by just clicking add tile. Then, once you're happy with your tiles, just click save. Your tiles will then appear on your home page. You can modify your tiles at any stage by just clicking modify layout.